First, give it honor to God, the Father of my Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. To the pastor of this church, Reverend Michael Glenn, and to Donnie's pastor, D.K. Hughes of the New Testament Christian Church in Yuma, South Carolina, and to all the poor pit. Thank you all for being here today. On behalf of the Ote and Whiteside families, we thank you, Reverend Glenn and Pastor Hughes, for all you have done for Donnie and for our family. May God bless you. Now, I could say a lot about my nephew, Donnie, <coughs> but time won't allow it. What I will say is Donnie loved his family, and his family loved him. He would stop by and check on his elderly grandmother, my dear, my mom. Whenever we had family events, he would make sure that he was there if it was at all possible. He would come straight to the kitchen because he knew that's where his aunties were. <laughs> and he would give us all a big hug and a kiss. Then he would carry, help carry food in from the different cars. And he would help take out the trash. He would always ask if we needed him to do anything. He was respectful, soft-spoken, and he had a dashing smile. To wrap up, I need to tell you that on several occasions, Donnie shared with me that he had accepted Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. He would say, I'm reading my Bible. I've talked to the Lord about that. Amen. And on one occasion, when I visited him in the hospital, we read Psalm 30 together. We prayed and we sang a hymn entitled, Wonderful Words of Life. I don't know if you know that. But it says, sing them over again to me. Wonderful words of life. Beautiful words. Wonderful words. Wonderful words of life. Talking about the word of God. Those words in the Bible are life. Amen. Read them. Amen. Accept Christ. And then you read that Bible. And you will experience how those wonderful words will give you life. Then he said to me, I love my sister Linda and my brothers. He said, I love my children. And he said to me, after I'm gone, you guys be sure and keep in touch with my son and daughters. He said, they're going to have a hard time. Call them. And if you can't get them the first couple of times, he said, keep on calling them. He knew that we loved him. And he wanted them to know us and to experience that same love. Donnie, like all of us, was not perfect. Like all of us, he made choices, good, bad, and indifferent, and he had to live with the consequences. But it's not how you start the race, but how you finish. And because Donnie accepted Jesus Christ, he finished well. We love you, nephew. And hey, I'll see you again.